Good afternoon, it's day two of my European um, landscape photography series. Um, been a bit of a slow day as well really, I said yesterday or the blog that you probably seen about a week ago now that I was actually going to um, get up early yesterday and try and get some stuff in the morning. Uh, the logistics of it didn't really work so after you saw me yesterday I drove about two hours um, to get to a place called Blegley Mine which is um, got this really cool um, free um, camp camping kind of uh, car park area where you can put the van in to spend the night there's um, electric there if you want to pay for it hook up and facilities so I went straight there uh, like I did last year um, quite a cool place good place to get um, like I say a bit of rest this morning um, I kind of looked at where I was going to go really and I wanted to go to a town called um, Ashton um, I'll put down how it's spelled because I might be getting that wrong um, I went there to look at this really cool cathedral they got. Um, I've looked at some of the pictures on it before I went there and it's a really epic kind of um, grand um, cathedral with a big dome and um, towers and stuff like that. But unfortunately when I got there, they were setting up one side of it, they were setting up a sound outdoor theater dome thing. And the other side was kind of like a market stall going up with a Ferris wheel. Now if the Ferris wheel was open, it would have been an awesome thing to um, to go up and take a picture of the cathedral from the top of it unfortunately they were still setting it up so i couldn't actually get a clear shot so it was really annoying and it looked like a really cool thing to photograph so i've done the best i can um i also went inside as well which i don't normally do and it's really cool kind of intricate detailed um art kind of gold different colors inside so i'll put that up so you can see it anyway um but it's a shame really i didn't really get the images i, I wanted there um but it'd be definitely somewhere that I'd go back to if I was kind of travelling by that way. What I've actually done now, it's about five o'clock and I've actually come down to um, this epic castle, which I'm not going to stay here for sunset, really. Um, there's not enough clouds in the sky and I want to try and get the classic kind of Instagrammy type shot down there. I've come down to Berg Alps, which is this awesome castle down here. The shot that most people go for that you see on Instagram is this kind of walkway um, across which I assume would have been a moat at one point. Um, and then looking onto the castle, normally with a model or something in the foreground, which I'm not going to have. But I'll see if I can get some interesting pictures of um, people walking by and stuff like that and see what I can do with it. Um, after this, I've got probably a few hours to drive um, to another castle down in the south. Um, I was thinking of trying to get to the Rhine Falls as well, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to be honest. I think that would be one I'll have to miss. Um, but yeah, I'll set up down there. There's not too many people here, so I should be able to vlog it down there, go through some of the shots. Uh, it's quite a classic one. You've probably seen it a thousand times, but it's one I wanted to stop by and see. So um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a few minutes when I'm down there. Ideas can be pleasantly overgrown. I'm down at the castle now. Here it is. Got that famous kind of walkway here. Really, really cool place. Um, I'm struggling with the sun again. It's um, the heat waves back. It's like over 30s here in um, Germany where I am. It's uh, not the, the uh, most pleasant. I've got strong sun in my eyes from up there. It is quite nice though because it's putting a lot of um, strong side light on this side of the castle um, and even this side in shadow and it actually does work quite nicely. Um, I'm going to move over this way a bit more in a minute just to accentuate the effect on that so I get a bit more of the shadow side in as well. Not really much to talk about it to be honest. Um, really bright, no clouds in the sky so I can't really do any long exposures. I have got a polarizer on it because the sun is almost 90 degrees to it, roughly up there. 
Um, and what that means is I'll be able to darken the sky with a polarizer, I'll be able to make it a bit bluer. Um, I might put a bit of footage up just so you can see that um, take an effect. Um, not really going to stay much longer here either. I think it's going to make the side light ni a nicer colour. Um, but there's no clouds in the sky to pick up any red sky and also I have a feeling the sun is going to be capped by these trees in a bit anyway so I might not even get any nice side light. It'll probably start cropping up the castle which is not what I want really. So yeah, simple shots really, no filters apart from the polarizer. Um, I'm using this line here, or this wall, a bit of a leading line. And I quite like this bend in it as well, which I'm kind of shooting down quite close into to um, try and add a bit of foreground interest. It's nice cobbled road here as well, so I don't think you need anything striking in the foreground really. You can get away with just a nice scene. Uh, this bus keeps on appearing every two minutes as well and unloading passengers as well. So. Um, yeah, it's a bit not the uh, easiest place to vlog. It's quite quiet down here now, but there was a lot of people earlier. Right, yeah, I paused it. He's uh, not letting anyone off, so it's not too busy. Um, yeah, not really much to say about it more than that, really. Um, simple shots, really single frames. No need to do HDR. There's not enough um, darkness in the uh, in the midground yet. So um, yeah, I'll probably just get a few more shots at different angles and call it quits, really. Um, I'm going to head down, like I say, to one of the castles in a bit. It's going to be too dark to vlog by the time I get there, so um, I'll stick the images up from this and hope you enjoy them, and um, I'll probably end up catching on the next one now. So, um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I said I was going to finish and not do any more vlogging, but walking back up, I started noting, noticing a few more compositions, looking through some of the trees. Um, you get the odd clearing where you can use some of the leaves as a frame. It's a shame because although it's been a lovely year temperature-wise, um, I think it's held back autumn a bit. So this part of Germany, we're only just starting to see the colours change now. Um, another, say, month's time, it'll probably be really nice red colours down here. Should be better as I move to the colder parts. What I've done is I've come to that first bit that I did the vlog at the beginning, and I've just gone over the barrier and walked down this um, precarious path. I've just taken some more pictures of it looking down. It's actually looking really nice in the portrait here because the way the light's landing, it's actually lighting up all this side of the kind of uh, mound that the castle's on. And also just a bit around the path kind of here. And it's making it kind of the castle really light against really dark kind of trees around the background. So I think it's going to make for a really nice moody, um, arty scene if I control some of those elements in uh, Photoshop afterwards, probably by um, darkening the shadows and uh, increasing the highlights um, or the, um, the whites. So I should be to get this castle looking quite strong um, against the darkness. Um, so yeah, um, I'm probably going to call that quits now. I might try and get a few more of these trees down here um, in the shot as a frame. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, to be honest. Uh, it's just to try and find something that will work. Um, but like I said, hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. It has been a bit um, of a rush. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the pictures from the uh, cathedral this morning and um, the ones down here. From tomorrow onwards, I should be to get a few more in the, each video. Um, hopefully I'll get most of the driving out the way over the next few days and then I'll be down into the the kind of end of the uh, bottom of Germany um, Slovenia kind of Austria side really so that's the kind of place I'm probably more likely to be centralized and um, find shots as I'm driving so yeah thanks again for watching um, if you liked it obviously give it a thumbs up um, leave any comments I always love reading them uh, although sometimes it's difficult to reply to them straight away obviously being a um, away or out shooting and stuff like that um, and yeah if you've enjoyed it so far please subscribe um, hopefully I'll be putting these videos out every week and um, yeah I'll see you on the next one